Hi everyone, this is Sambalas. How are you? Okay, are these cute or what? I mean, I only have one because we're gonna make the second one right now. Um, so these are just some little hair clips. The materials you're gonna need for these are the following. Some hair clips, of course. I think you can get them at any craft store. I believe I ordered these on Amazon a long time ago. Scissors. Crochet hook. I'll be using a 3.25 millimeter one, even though that's not the recommended hook size. Yarn, of course. These are the two I'll be using. Peyton's Grace. They recommend a 3.75 millimeter, but like I said, it's just a recommendation. It's a light three. This is the color, Lush. Uh, hand wash cold if you ever needed to wash it. And then the other one is the color Fiesta. That sounds good. I mean, party. It's 100% mer mercerized cotton, which means that it's treated to give it that luster, that shine. That's about it with the yarn. And also use some stitch markers. If you don't have these, just use a paper clip. I actually finally found these after, oh my god, I've been searching my whole house. And now I found them with the clips. So I'll be using those. Let's get started. We'll start with the with the fiesta color. We are going to do a slip knot. So if you don't know how to make a slip knot, just make a little loop, grab your hook, insert it into the middle, and then pull it towards the middle of that loop. Hold on to both ends and pull. And then once you have that, you can pull on that one side. And make it tighter. Now we're going to make a chain of 21. If you don't know how to make a chain, let me also show you that. You just put your hook under the yarn, you hold on to this end, and then you pull it through that first loop that you have from the slip knot. So that's one. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Okay, all the way until you have 20, 21. 21 chains. Now grab the, the beginning of your chain and we are going to unite these. But just make sure that your chain is straight. Now insert your hook into that first chain. Okay, so once you've inserted it, you're going to yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that other loop on your hook as well. So that's your first slip stitch. Now you're going to chain one and into that same stitch you're going to do a single crochet. So insert your hook, can you see that? Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. After you've done this first single crochet, that's when you need your stitch marker. So you're going to insert it into that stitch. So that's your first single crochet and keep going on to the next stitch. See that? And do a single crochet. So that's two. And then over here, the third one. And you're going to go all the way around until you have 21 single crochets. Just make sure you're counting along, okay? I will meet you over here. Here I am at stitch number 20. And then do stitch number 21. And sometimes it looks like you still have a stitch left, okay? But since you're counting along, you know that you're done. You have 21 stitches. You take off your stitch marker into that stitch you will insert your hook and do a slip stitch like so chain one and then into that same stitch show it to you right there you will do a single crochet and add your stitch marker over here. Alright, so this was your first single crochet 
And now again, you're going to count until you have 21 single crochets. Obviously now you have to go through both of these loops. Like that, right? This is row number two. And I will meet you over here. Again, I am at stitch number 20. Now this is 21. And we will join these two ends. So take off your slip, uh, your stitch marker, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through both to make a slip stitch, chain one and insert into that same stitch to make a single crochet. Add your stitch marker and then again do 21 single crochets. This is row number three. We're going to do five rows of these single crochets. So just repeat these steps and towards the end of the fifth row, I will meet you back here. And this is the end of the fifth row. When you reach this point, you take out your stitch marker, you insert your hook again and do the slip stitch that you normally would that. Now we cut it off and what I like to do is I just pass it through once more and pull it together. One thing I forgot to mention is that you also need a needle, a yarn needle or any needle that has a big eye. You want to thread this into, so you can turn it over first. So now you want to thread this in so that it's not visible. Just go back and forth a couple of times. Cut off the end. And then do the same with this one. Now just turn it back. Okay, take your other yarn. I like to cut off about 36 inches for this. There, that gives me some room to work around the bow. Insert one end into your needle and then the back part, so where we had all the connections, that's where you wanna just insert the yarn in the middle, right? And you can take, take out the needle and make sure you have even like equal equal lengths so you have equal lengths on both sides and you make sure that this part where you connect it every every after every round that one is right in the middle and now you're going to go around the front to make it pretty tight then the back and we're going to make a knot right here like that and now so you have to keep tension a lot of tension on it so with one of the strings you're going to go around a couple of times try to do the try to do it so that the yarn is like right next to the other one and then the same with the other side. Pretty tight, okay? That's the width that you like. Then on the back, so still keep the tension, we somehow have to make a knot. I know. <laughs> that's a little tricky, right? There. So that's the first knot. Now we want to do another one. To keep it tight. See, I could hold on to it. Alright, we'll just have to put it here on the table and somehow make it work. <laughs> okay, this is a hard part because 
you don't want the bottom one to get loose. All right. Yay. We did it. Take your clip. And I forgot to mention, you want to make sure that it has a, a little hole over here. Unless you want to glue it on with a hot gun. I guess that's fine, but I just feel like those always fall off. So you're going to put in both of the yarns through the needle. Grab your clip. This is, you're going to insert it through the top. Of course, that. Then take out your needle. You're going to open the clip because you're going to go th through that opening. Like so. Now take one of the threads and again pass it through the needle. Still holding on tight to both sides. I'm going to go into the middle of the bow, like that, so that it's tight on that side. And then I'm going to come back out, but I'm going to pass it through, through that little hole. Okay, there you go. Now let's do that again. Through the middle and then pass it through that little hole. Now we're going to do the same with the other end. So into the middle of the bow, like that. Okay. And then let's do that one more time through the middle of the bow and it's obviously harder now to pass it through that hole but you can do it take out the needle that's what it looks like now I'm going to pass it back through that opening and I'm going to make two knots I know I really want to make sure this is this is securely fastened and also so that it doesn't bother the baby's head or your child's head. So there I made two knots and now once again insert your needle. I know lots of back and forth right? I will take the yarn and Basically, you just go into the middle of the bow, so somewhere in there where you can't really see it, and just pass that yarn so that you can then cut it off and you can't see it. And the same with the other one, the other side. I need to cut it so I can put it in better. Okay, take that yarn and also go through the front. And this is just my way of doing it so that I don't have to use a hot glue gun. Because like I said, I just don't love it for, for crochet bows. There we go. And there you have your bows. Oh, I love them. And they're securely fastened. Can't even move it. Super tight. Alright. Oh my gosh. I hope you had fun, like always, of course. I always have fun. I love doing these little projects. This took me like, what, 20 minutes, maybe, from start to finish. So easy, you can do it with like all, all the, whatever leftover yarn you have, and you can change up the colors, do different sizes, really simple. A great project for beginners. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, at HumbleHust. Tag me, please, so I can see your projects. I would love to see the outcome. This is Humble House. See you next time. Bye.